Welcome to Divine Public School. My name is your, my name is Dharmendra Sir, your science teacher. We are learning chapter one, matter in our surrounding. Now today is the last lecture of our chapter. Here, what we are going to discuss, uh, we already have discussed effect of change of pressure, evaporation, and we were talking about factors affecting evaporation. Now, coming back to what is evaporation, we we have learned last time. What is evaporation? the phenomena of change of liquid into vapor at any temperature below its boiling point make sure the water convert into vapor not at 100 degrees celsius not at its boiling point but it convert into vapor at any temperature below its boiling point it's called evaporation okay now i told you how does a evaporation affect so the evaporation can be affected by increasing the surface area. I told you when we uh, wash our clothes, it get wet, right? So when when you put it outside, you spread it. You increase the area of the clothes, so it get dry easily. What if you clumped it together and put it like this? It will take a longer time. So why does it? So surface area increases, the rate of evaporation also increases. That's what they are saying. If you increase the surface area. The evaporation also increases. For example, while putting clothes for drying up, we spread out, right? So what happens is the, as you know, the sunlight get incident on the cloth. The kinetic energy increases, and the surface particles get con try slowly converted into vapor, and that's why the drying of clothes is a little longer process. Yes. So first thing, when you spread the clothes, when you increase the area, the evaporation increases. Second, second is decrease in the humidity. What is humidity? Humidity means the amount of water vapor in the air. See, we live uh, near to the coastal area. Means if you see the Dandi is not so far away from it. Means the sea is near to us. So we we from here, if you find. The humidity is more, but if you stay little far away from a coastal area, then the humidity is less. Okay, the humidity is the amount of water vapor present in air. If the water vapor present in the air is more, if the water vapor present in the air is more, then definitely the evaporation process gets slow, right? So if you decrease in the humidity, the evaporation increases. If the increase in the humidity, evaporation decreases. Vice versa. Okay, humidity means again. I am telling you, it is the amount of water vapor present in the air. Now, why the coastal areas, the area near to the coastal area, have a high humidity? Because when the air comes from the sea, it carries water. So that is the reason the humidity is more is in our area. So the air around us hold not a definite only from definite amount of water. Right, so in winter, in winter, if you feel, what happen is, those water, if it the amount of water vapor increases in the air, it turns into vapor, water drops. That's what you see when you put your bike or even on the uh, leaves, you can see a dew drops. Okay, we'll discuss that. But in simple city, if you decrease the humidity, the evaporation process increases because the water level decreases and hence the evaporation increases. The third part is increase in the wind speed. Yeah, the wind help us. Why the wind help us to increase the evaporation? Because when the wind blows, it carries the water along with the touch. When when it come in a surface of the uh, any surface which is wet, so that's why when you clean the floor, you switch on your fan so that the floor get dry easily. Why? So when the air passes through it, it takes the water vapor along with it. And that is the reason increase in the wind speed. So uh, when you switch on your fan, right? You when your pers uh, perspiration happens, right? When you get sweated, and you sweat under the fan, the sweating get reduced. Basically, you get cool a little, and even it get dry. Why does it happen? Because of wind. As the wind blow faster, evaporation process increases. So evaporation depends on three: increasing the surface area. Yes, decrease in the humidity and 
increase in the wind speed in all this scenario the evaporation increases so we learn what is evaporation we learn what is effect of evaporation right change now the next bit we are going to learn is the last part of our thing is how does evaporation cause cooling cooling right right now it's so hot around now you must be feel cooler when when you sit under a a fan ac is definitely a little different thing but when you sit under a fan okay what happen is the perspiration happen right when the air flows from this it takes the vapor from you now what happen is before that i'll just tell you one simple example okay now let me show you here what happen is uh you must have seen let's say if i i take a glass and i pour a cold water into it right so what did i pour here cold water what have you observed do you observe one thing here that after some time it has some dew drops outside the glass now my question is where does this water came from does it came from the glass think a little again i am asking you the question i pour a cold water into a glass after some time what i observe is on the surface of the water the glass outside there are some dew drops or waters water drops below the glass also and on the side also my question is from where does that water came think think what do you think the water came from from the glass no it doesn't come from the glass from where does it come 